I'm Andrew Tarantola from Engadget, coming to you from the Bell booth at CES 2019, where the aerospace company is showing off its latest prototype air taxi, which it's been developing in conjunction with Uber. It's called the Bell Nexus, and it's a gigantic hexacopter that's capable of carrying up to four passengers and a pilot. The Nexus uses the same sort of ducted fan technology that Bell developed for the V-22 Osprey, the military tilt rotor aircraft. Now, the Nexus doesn't have quite the same capabilities or point defense systems as the Osprey, but it will be able to carry up to four passengers along with a pilot up to 150 miles in a single charge at a speed of 150 miles per hour. That's not bad. So while the Nexus does look gigantic, especially compared to older iterations like the E-Hang that we saw back at CES 2016, it's still able to fit on a standard 40 by 40 landing pad, which is what modern helicopters already use. So you won't have to redo a bunch of infrastructure in order to integrate this into existing airspace. Now there's still a bunch of hurdles that need to be ironed out before the Nexus is released in the early 2020s. That includes working with FAA to develop proper regulations, building out some infrastructure because Uber wants to use the platform as an on-demand air taxi service, as well as getting the public used to the idea of flying around their city in what is essentially an oversized drone. Still, this is an exciting development, and if Uber and Bell can pull it off, it's gonna revolutionize the way that we move around our cities. And it isn't just Uber and Bell working together. Safran, Moog, Garmin, EPS, and Thales are all part of the program as well, each developing a specific subsystem which the Nexus will use to better ferry its passengers. Bell is also working on a new fly-by-wire system which will help the Nexus operate more safely and more reliably than the current aircraft do. And since Bell Aerospace is based in Dallas, Texas, residents of the Lone Star State will be among the first to be able to ride in the Nexus once it's released we're assuming in around 2023. Now, as you may have noticed, the Nexus has a very futuristic design, which some people have already compared to the flyers used by the robot army in Terminator 2. We don't really have to worry about Skynet taking over just yet, but as you can see behind me, the Nexus is drawing huge crowds at CES and drumming up real interest in what could become the next revolutionary phase of moving people around our future urban sprawls. The Nexus may look like an over-designed hexacopter, but it's actually a VTOL aircraft. That means it's able to lift off the ground vertically like a helicopter, but its six articulated fans, once it's in the air, will rotate forward, allowing it to travel faster, more like a traditional aircraft, before reverting back to their normal state and allowing it to land again like a helicopter. And since the Nexus has a hybrid electric power system, it promises to operate more quietly and more efficiently than traditional helicopters. That does it for us from the Bell booth. Stay tuned to Engadget for more coverage of the best of CES 2019.